Good afternoon, Crusader fans, and welcome to this week's Horizon League Championship edition of the Valpo Baseball Preview. I'm Brett Kaligman, joined alongside head baseball coach Brian Schmack. And uh, Coach Schmack, let's, let's cut right to it. This is the week that uh, you've probably had circle on the calendar all season long. Uh, NCAA tournament berth up for grabs. Uh, it's, the, uh, the league tournament begins Wednesday at Nishwit Stadium in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, Valpo, by virtue of the uh, sweep over Youngstown State this past weekend, are in the number three seed and will face Northern Kentucky uh, again on Wednesday afternoon. So uh, first let's touch upon uh, this opening round matchup against the Norse. Yeah, well, uh, you know, going to be a good game. We beat them three times at their place. They beat us twice at ours. So um, we've got a little payback uh, hopefully coming. But, you know, it's an interesting situation because uh, obviously they can't win the tournament. So really all they can do is play spoiler. So there's not, not much pressure on them at this point. Uh, a little unfortunate, but um, we're going to have to show up and, and bring our A game, you know, and, and we'll have Dalton against them. And, Hopefully he can contain them, and we can put up some runs and uh, kind of take care of some business. But as you mentioned, they again they're playing spoiler, uh, and that's particularly dangerous, especially in this first round game where it's win or go home. Yeah, anything can happen. You know, they're uh, I think they're throwing their left-handed guy who uh, I think we touched up a little bit first time, but I know he's been really hot as of late. So in these tournaments, uh, all it takes is one arm to kind of upset some things and, and put guys further in the rounds. Let's look back at the end of this regular season and. Outside of that uh, forgettable week, uh, I think by anybody's admission to begin the month, uh, you got to like how the team, especially offensively pitching, all, all of it kind of came together uh, towards the end of the year. You always want to end uh, the, the regular season going into the conference tournament on a winning note, and uh, you've won five in a row. Yeah, uh, you know, could have been maybe seven or eight. We had a little hiccup there at Youngstown where, uh, you know, just a really long day. Uh, I think the guys maybe lost a little bit of focus in that second game, and they beat us too. I mean, so that, that helps, but... Uh, it's really good to be coming in on a five-game streak, and, and hopefully we carry that into, like I said, the tournament. We had uh, senior day this past weekend out there at Emory G. Bauer Field on Saturday. Uh, Twelve seniors total on this roster. Um, again, it's almost too many to go through and, and, and name all of their accomplishments. Uh, but as you look at this team, with the number of seniors that are making such key contributions, uh, you got to feel like this is really the year to, to make some noise. Yeah, you know, you, you look at those guys and they're all big time contributors. Friday, Saturday guy, two, three, four, I think six also. So um, I guess we got to work it out for us in the future. But, you know, I mean, it, it all depends. Like I said, I mean, anything can happen. Uh, you know, our guys have done really well. I mean, they can they can run up against a, a, a tough pitcher. They can go into a little bit of a streak, you know, um, or a slump, I guess. So it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I guess hopefully these older guys know how to handle this tournament and can, can try to uh, control their, their emotions. But uh, as far as this is the year, you know, it's a good chance. It's a good chance. We definitely got a good cast, and, and these guys are ready to go. Well, live video will be available uh, courtesy of ESPN3. Live stats available courtesy of Wright State Athletics. And uh, good luck, Coach, this weekend. We'll be watching with uh, great anticipation. Thank you. And uh, you can follow the, uh, the baseball team on Twitter, at Valpo Baseball. And for all your athletics needs, check out ValpoAthletics.com. And again, for all of us, this is Brad Kaligman, Go Crusaders.